taking your genre into consideration, have, have you had any issues with YouTube demonetization? Yeah, I mean, it's been really, really bad for my channel and for the entire horror community. Yeah. Um, just because YouTube's bot is still learning, I guess. And every time I upload a video that pertains to horror or creepy or like any of those tags, it just immediately gets demonetized. And then you have to do this appeal for a human review and it takes forever. Yeah. And obviously and, all the views come in the first 48 hours to a week usually. And that's critical time for at least add sense on the YouTube videos. Right. I mean, that's what just happened to me with the jigsaw video that I did. Um, I uploaded it beforehand, had it unlisted for a while. They never got around to reviewing it. I had to release it eventually. Yeah. They still haven't gotten around to reviewing it. So I'm getting a video that's doing very well and getting a ton of traffic and it's not getting any monetization, which is really unfortunate. There's actually a whole movement on YouTube because um, the whole adpocalypse has really affected the horror community and a couple of other communities like the news community and I think like the wrestling community for whatever reason. Yeah. Um, but the horror community is kind of banded together to try to tell YouTube like the stuff that we're doing isn't necessarily advertiser unfriendly. If you're doing a creepy suspenseful video, there's yeah. no reason that that shouldn't be monetized. Yeah. Um, so the, one of the biggest names in the horror community, his name is Rob Dyke. He started this movement called uh, hashtag keep YouTube creepy. And that's kind of like something that we've all banded around to try to get recognition to because I mean, it's sad to see the adpocalypse driving away YouTubers who yeah. used to be able to rely on it for a living. Uh, and just as a comparison, uh, outside of vidIQ, I do a tech channel and I've had no issues with any videos in the last year with demonetization, I guess, because tech is a very ad friendly area. Um, so it's obviously something I can't personally appreciate the, the struggles that certain YouTube communities go through. The thing that I don't understand is when you go to a cinema or if you're watching uh, TV or traditional media, the, the advertisers don't care what kind of content you're, they're advertising on. They just want to get their name out there. Yeah. And I don't, think, I don't think when viewers watch a YouTube video, they watch the video and say like, oh, uh, Coca-Cola, yeah, they support this channel specifically. I think it's just saying that Coca-Cola advertises on YouTube and wants, I don't think they that viewers draw that connection. So I think what they should really do is just have an asterisk and say, um, the, the views expressed in this video don't necessarily reflect the views of the advertiser. Yep. Good and point. just not even worry about the demonetization thing because honestly, it's like destroying people's careers. Exactly, yeah. Over, I, uh, over a bot that is not fully developed yet. Have you found it a demotivating factor or the, the, the joy of video making is something that pushes you through despite any issues of income? The interesting thing about it is when the adpocalypse started is right when I released that first IT video that blew up. So um, I think the fact that people were giving up and quitting was actually kind of helping me at the very okay. beginning because I had such a small channel and it was just giving me more opportunities because the market was less flooded. So I think that kind of helped me initially grow at first. Um, but now that I have grown and I do kind of have a fan base and I just want to put stuff out there, um, it's really, it's very frustrating, but um, I'm just trying to push through it and hope that it'll get resolved. I mean, every week is a battle with, with my partner support people trying to get them to review the video, but um, I just try to worry about the content as much as possible and just try to push through it. Well, we do wish you and every other YouTuber who's struggling with demonetization the best of luck and hopefully YouTube will resolve this soon. I mean, they have to as a, as a business, especially now that they've got YouTube TV that's coming out onto their mm -hmm. platform. And by the way, um, vidIQ has a really nice... Um, option in your video manager that lets you filter out all of the videos that have been um, demonetized or partially demonetized. So it makes it easier to go through your old videos and see which ones have been appealed. Because a lot of the times um, the notifications that they send are really inconsistent for whatever reason. Yeah. I think the whole notification system on YouTube is kind of buggy. Um, but that's been a helpful tool for me to track which videos have been reviewed and which videos still need work.